Seems like I haven't seen you guys forever. So I'm getting back on the ball and starting with an OPP. And this is a September, October, but I'm just calling it October OPP 2020. So yay. And I have 10 people that sent in items and most everybody, not everybody, but most everybody has more than one thing they sent in. So we have a lot to look at. So let's look and see what we have. These first projects are from Linda Wallace and she comes from California. This first item, which is a dancing ballerina, is a Steve Good pattern. She made it for a granddaughter and she added her granddaughter's name to it. And the woods that she used are walnut and pine. Pretty cool, Linda. These next projects of hers are also Steve Good patterns and they're little boxes. And she said she uses these for gifts. So the box is a gift, but then she also puts something inside of it like jewelry or a gift card or something. So it's like two gifts and one. And I just think those are awesome, Linda. And this last project from Linda is this intarsia of these pelicans. And she said she made the intarsia and her husband made the frame. And it's very awesome. So thanks for sharing those, Linda. The next couple of projects are from Phil Gavin, and he is from England. He made these clocks and he made them out of pen blanks. And he said this first one is made from Purple Heart, Ash, Walnut, Paduke, Beach, and Lepatro Negro. And then the second one is made all from Walnut. And he said he finished them all off with Danish oil. Then he made this intarsia panda and it is a Judy Gale Roberts pattern. He used oak flooring leftovers for the tree and then he ebonized oak and used it on the panda. And then he put white dye on the ash and the eyeballs are made out of ebony. He put shellac over the whole thing and then beeswax. So very cool, Phil. And I'm surprised that that oak got so dark with the ebonizing, I love it. So thanks for sharing that with us. These next projects are from Taya Yank and she's from Montana. This first one is wood burning that she did and it was a memorial for her friend. And she said that she looked at some pictures and she got the dog's personality captured in this, which is really cool. And then this next one is also a wood burning and wow. And then she said she also likes to do painting and that's her, her therapy, she, she says. And then she also has started to dabble in resin. She also makes her projects and then she gives them away to her friends. She puts them up in her garage and they go through and say, oh, I like this one. She's like, have it. And they're like, what? So uh, she loves when she just gives it to them. So that's really cool, Taya. Thanks for sharing those with us. The next couple of projects are from Carolyn Hot. She made these scroll saw crosses out of cabinet grade plywood. And the angel is made out of oak and walnut. The man in the moon and the cow jumping over the moon are also made from oak and walnut. And this nativity light is made from oak and walnut. This next project is a sandcastle that she made for the Klamath Falls Film Festival. So I'm thinking you're in Oregon, Carolyn. This was a trophy for an eight-year-old that made a movie called The Sandcastle. And Carolyn used oak for the sandcastle and then a chunk of redwood for the base. And she says the top of it also comes off. So that's a pretty cool and unique trophy, Carolyn. Thanks for sharing it with us. These next couple of projects are from Ken Smith. And this first one is Bugs Bunny. And the woods he used are walnut sapwood, aspen, china berry for the carrot, eastern red cedar, heartwood walnut, and cherry. I love it. And then he also made Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner. And he said he had these two characters and he wasn't sure how to put them together. And then he found that backer board with the perfect grains and everything. And I think it looks awesome. It does match it and everything. So way to go, Ken. And then he also made this snake. And the snake is oak and walnut. He made it from a picture that he found in a past issue of Missouri Conservative Magazine. So that's really cool. That means you made your own pattern. That's hard to do. And it looks awesome, Ken. So thanks for sharing those with us. 
This next project is a nativity scene by Martinelli from Italy. And he doesn't say anything about the project, but I think I've seen this pattern around. And um, I'll put down in the description box who it's from. I need to do a little bit more research. But it's a pretty detailed nativity scene with all the different parts in there. And it looks really great, Martinelli. Thanks for sharing that with us. This next project is from Teresa in Texas, my cousin's wife. So yeah, and she sent me a picture of this and I was like, I didn't understand what it was at first because um, it was not totally finished, but this is a pencil drawing, believe it or not. And here's some progress pictures just to see, To you know, it's not a photo, it's actual drawing in pencil and it's just amazing. And thanks for sharing it because, whoa, it just blows me away. This next project is from Hammond Mida, and these are motorcycles made out of wood. And he said there was a contest going on where people vote, and people voted for his motorcycles, and so he won in the contest. I'm not sure what he won or anything, but pretty cool that he won. And thanks for sharing those with us, Hammond. This next project is from Paul, and he lives in Belarus. He says it's a little tiny country in the center of Europe that has really unique fauna and flora. So here he's depicted a swamp in which a heron, a turtle, a snail, and a frog live. And the types of wood that he used for this are pine, oak, ash, poplar, alder, and cherry. Pretty cool, Paul. Thanks for sharing that with us. And this last project is from Jim Merrill, and it is a Judy Gale Roberts intarsia pattern. And so she has the schnauzer, but she also offers now a cropped ear option that you can do on the schnauzer. So Jim made the cropped ear version of the schnauzer, and he used aspen, aromatic cedar, and walnut. And it looks awesome, Jim. Thanks for sharing that. And that concludes this episode of OPP. Yay! Lots of cool stuff again this time around. If you have a project that you'd like me to share on OPP, please send me an email and write in the description box OPP, and I will share it on the next upcoming show. You can also contact me through Facebook or Instagram. Um, I prefer email. But as long as you hear back from me, um, if you don't hear back from me, then uh, contact me again because sometimes I don't see those other things. Sometimes I don't see my email. <laughs> so anyway, just make sure if you don't hear from me, write me back and say, hey, I sent something in for OPP. Did you get it? Or here it is again. I really enjoy seeing your projects and I really enjoy sharing them. And I think everybody out there really enjoys seeing them. So I'll continue to do these as long as people send stuff in. And I hope everybody has a really good October and we will see you next time. Bye.